for the kingdom of God is at hand. My brothers and sisters, we need to turn from our wicked ways. We need to turn from sin. Stop watching pornography. Stop masturbating. Stop performing witchcraft. You have to repent. Jesus Christ is the only way. It's the only way to heaven, my brothers and sisters. We must repent. We must turn from the sin. That's right. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. Jesus made it clear. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except for Him. But first, we must repent. We must turn from our wicked ways, from habitual sin. For the wages of sin is death. Death is total, complete separation from God. Without God, you're spiritually dead. And I'm here to warn you. And those that die without Christ will perish and end up in hell. That's why we have to repent and give our life to Christ. There is no name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Only Jesus Christ can save you from your sins. Right. Only Jesus Christ can save you from hell. Be filled with the Holy Spirit and not with alcohol and nicotine. I'm coming to tell you the gospel, the good news, that Jesus Christ died for your sins. He rose again on the third day. He is now in heaven. And he's seated at the right hand of the Father. But we must repent, people. We must turn from habitual sin. Jesus is Lord. He's our Lord and Savior. And he died on the cross of Calvary for his sins. There is no other name given among men by which we must be saved. Only Jesus Christ can save you from your sins. But we must repent, people. There's no parties in hell. You have to turn from the mental sin, people. Hell is real. And only Jesus Christ can save you from hell, people. Hell is described in the Bible as a place of outer darkness where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. Once you're in hell, you can't escape. There's no repentance after death. And tomorrow is not promised, people. You can party today and tomorrow you can end up in hell dead. I'm here to warn you to turn from the mental sin. Give your life to Christ. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. And not with nicotine and alcohol. These pleasures are temporary. Our Lord and Savior is everlasting. He's offered you the gift of life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whoever shall believe in him will not perish in hell, but have everlasting life in heaven. If you want to inherit the kingdom of God, if you want to go to heaven, you need to be redeemed. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Only then can you be saved. There's no other way. Talk to you or not. Those that pie will not inherit the kingdom of God. Those that live in habitual sin will not inherit the kingdom of God. You need to repent. You need to turn from these wicked acts. You only have one life. It's appointed unto all men once to die. And then the judgment. So the moment you die, you'll be judged. This uh, this scene will be replayed in front of you. Judgment day. How you lined up to sin. Turn from the wicked ways. I'm in to warn you, that you perish, die without Christ in your life. You will be redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. You will perish and end up in hell. You need to repent, turn up and wake your ways, people. Hell is with that. And there are billions of souls in heaven wishing that they could repent. Wishing that they could give their life to Christ. Wishing that they didn't waste time in clubs. Wishing that they didn't drink alcohol and smoke for no reason. At the end of the day, you only have one life. Do not waste that life, my brothers and sisters. You only have one life. Life is like a vapor. You're here today, tomorrow, that's it. What did you do with the blood of Jesus? How did you live your life? Did you wake and smoke it, drink it, fornicate it? Or did you live your life serving the Lord, your God? God will not be mocked. What you sow, you shall reap. That's right. So if you spend your time drinking, smoking, fornicating, wasting time, 
Go and fight the devil. Sin it. If you die in your sins, you will perish. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. That one shall believe in him will not perish, but have, have everlasting, everlasting life, life in heaven. Amen. If you want to be saved, call upon the name of the Lord while he can be found. Like I said, tomorrow is not promised, people. Today could be your last day on this planet. And I'm here to tell you, to be saved, you must be born again. God is spirit, and he requires those that worship him to be to worship him in spirit and in truth. You must be born again to see the kingdom of God and enter the kingdom of God. There's no other way, brother. Come back, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, it's a good one.